composing gloves here. And today we're checking out lalal.ai. It is an AI that takes in a track and it will split it into a vocal and an instrumental. We're going to be feeding this thing an MP3 and a WAV file. And we're also going to be messing with the processing levels and just seeing what the results are. And then we're going to compare it against another service uh, that shall remain unnamed because there's a variety of services that do this just to see how it stacks up against some of the competition out there. Now you get three songs for free to try the service out. And then after that, you have to pay if you wish to do more with the service, if you really like it. So let's just jump right into it. So the file I'm going to be using is a track of mine called Explore the Universe. It's got some pretty heavy tuning on it because, you know, I'm not the most amazing singer out there. And so uh, I'm just kind of curious how it's going to perform. We'll start with the wave file. This is the file that should perform the best because it's got all the information in that recording. So let's go ahead and just drag this on and uh, let me scoot this over a little bit so we can just put it on there and it's going to upload and split it. I'm going to go ahead and cut forward. All right, we reached this second stage. Cue up. It's going to be looking at the audio here. All right, once it's done, this is what you see. So we've got the vocal preview, the instrumental preview, and then we can go ahead and choose to process the entire track. And then from here, you have additional options if you need more time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and download these previews. And then I'm going to process the MP3 version now. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna click restart and I'm going to grab, this was the wave version. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab the MP3, drag it on there and let it do its thing. Oh, it goes way faster just to kind of show you the size difference of the two. Uh, and I'm gonna bring these into FL. So let's go ahead, let's cut to that. All right, so we've got them all opened up here. The top two are from the wave file. The bottom two are from the MP3. And just so you're aware, they are all MP3s. So when you download them, if I go ahead and go over to the uh, downloads thing, we can see here, they're all MP3s. Nothing crazy there. So uh, if you put a wave in, you'll still get an MP3 out. Let's go ahead and let's just listen to these. So first, let's listen to the vocal, because for the most part, when I do this, I'm after just the vocal take. And so here is the wave file vocal. Shooting stars. Fly on by in the sky. So something that stands out to me is they even get the verb to a degree in there. They don't get the tail end of the verb that's kind of put in the instrumental. And this is, as you can hear, I, I tune this pretty heavily, like super heavy handed tuning. And it, it caught it no problem. So this is like extremely clean. And let's go over to the instrumental. I suspect that this is going to give the instrumental a bit of a hard time because there are static parts because the pitch is just held constant. There's like no variation at all. Uh, so let's just let's just see. So pretty much what I kind of expected, if we come over here, uh, I'm kind of curious how it's going to happen at the drop. So this is like, break the chain. There's a harmony there. It didn't get the harmony. Let's go ahead and switch over. So this is, again, I think this is an extremely hard case. Let's go over to the MP3 version, just see how it did with significantly less information. So here's the vocal. Shooting stars fly on by in the sky. That's amazing for an MP3. That's like identical right here. That's insane. Let's go over to the uh, instrumental. Interesting. Let's go to the the wave. Wow, that's that's really incredible. So you get extremely similar results, uh, MP3 or wave, uh, which is something I don't know. I guess we'll have to see how other services uh, compare against this because that's that's pretty insane. Let's do the same thing now. Only this time we are going to do it with uh, the aggressive mode and uh, just see if there's any significant difference in processing there. So I'm just gonna choose aggressive, and once again, I'm going to grab the WAV file and drag it on there, let it do its thing. 
Something to note here is the aggressive processing. I'm still on 11%. Been here for a little while. So uh, really curious to see what the difference is going to be because this is, this is quite a bit longer. All right, we got it. Let's uh, download these things. And let's do the MP3 real quick while we're here. So we're still on 11%. Oh, well, there it goes uh, with the MP3. That was that was a bit faster. It's quite a bit faster, but it, it definitely also took more time, which I guess is expected since it's um, aggressive. All right, so here we are. We've got the aggressive wave and the aggressive MP3. Uh, let's just hear these and then I'll do a polarity flip and I'm just kind of curious what the difference is going to be. Uh, so let's just go. I'm mostly curious about the vocal. So let's hear that. Shooting stars fly on by in the sky where you were meant to be. Okay, let's go ahead and hear it over here as well. Break the chain. All right, now let's go ahead and let's bring both of these up. We'll open up one of the channels and we are going to reverse the polarity on one so they should cancel out. Whatever the difference is, we're going to hear it. So let's, uh, let's hear that. No difference. Oh, there is a difference there. I'll be a very small one. Uh, yeah, they appear to be exactly the same. The indie on the aggressive didn't didn't get this, which is interesting. What is this? Oh, it's the. Uh, it's a vocal chop I put in there. Interesting. So it was able to differentiate from the vocal chop and my voice. So you may actually get drastically different results uh, depending on your track if they have things that vary like that. Because this algorithm was able to detect that that was not part of my singing. So kind of cool. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the MP3 version. Oh, there's no difference. Interesting. Let's go over here. I mean, it did a great job already. Oh, the fade out's a, a tad bit different. This is all the same. Uh, this, the aggressive processing was able to identify that as not part of the singing, uh, which is interesting. So if you have vocal chops, things that are like really crazy, it looks like aggressive is actually able to identify and remove those. That I think would be the biggest reason to possibly switch the two. Other than that, these are these are extremely similar. Let's go. Let's go over to the MP3 and uh, just hear that. And let's hear the instrumental wave too, real quick. Let's bring up the other one and reverse it. Yeah, so these Gra are... Oh, that was a major difference. Gra Which one has the gravity? Gra the aggressive has gravity. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go. Gravity. Whoa, that's a big difference too. Gravity. That fades it in. This one got the got the gravity. This one didn't. This is, uh, this is really interesting to see what it... it took out what it didn't so there's a little bit on the wave here i think i'd opt for mild processing unless i was having a hard time with these like extra formancy parts of a song possibly aggressive may be the way to go and maybe you do a mixture of the two uh, but very interesting let's go over to the mp3 and see how that performed did this also take the gravity out We're meant to be Gravity. No, the MP3 actually did a little bit better than the wave file counterpart. Look, it's completely missing right here, and here it is. So maybe you want to give this MP3s, which is super counterintuitive. Shooting stars fly on by in the sky where you were meant to be. I think the MP3 got a better result. What the heck? It also was able to identify that this, you know, is something else. Uh, pretty cool. Let's grab the MP3 from the first one, which is this one. 
And uh, let's just do a phase flip. Let's flip this polarity flip. And uh, here they cancel. Okay, these are also identical. And the end's different. I, this fade out looks different as well. Yeah, this one's different. Um, it, very interesting. So it seems the difference in processing really makes it a change on how it detects the beginnings and ends of notes, especially things that have fades, because these have like large reverb fade outs. Uh, so that appears to be the major difference between the two. Let's go ahead. I'm going to open up a, another process that will go unnamed, and I'm going to split it into an instrumental and a vocal and let's just see how that performs compared to this because this honestly produces some of the best results i've heard uh and it notably it, it focuses really primarily on just getting the vocal out and then it produces an instrumental where a lot of other ai splitting things i think try to do way too much and they, they try to split into stems which oftentimes i think results in just messier results but i don't know let's uh, let's let's try it out real quick I'm going to black the screen here so you can't see what I'm using unless you want to try and use the reflection in my classes. Uh, but I can tell you right off the bat that Lalal is way, 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 way faster uh, than the Zymnaptic stem maker, which is a lot of services use this uh, algorithm, which is the one I want to compare it against. And so, uh, yeah, way faster. I thought, you know, it, it had slowed down a bit when we went to aggressive, but holy cow, is this, it was still a million times faster. The MP3 is just as slow as the WAV file, too. I was hoping it'd be faster, but nope, it is every bit as slow, if not slower. So, uh, maybe it'll be worth the wait, maybe not. Guess we'll find out. All right, after what feels like an eternity, but it will feel real fast for you, I finally have the wave and the MP3. Now, notably, it splits the drums as well. So these top two are the instrumental and the bottom one's the voice. And we could see too that it seems to have really missed the first phrase almost entirely. Look at that. It's like all the way over here. Uh, so let's go ahead and solo these. So here's... Let's just hear the voice. So here's the voice off the wave. Shooting stars fly by in the sky. Where you to be. That is not anywhere near as good. Uh, so here's the MP3 version with the aggressive of off la la. Shooting stars. Fly by. Significantly better. Let's also hear the instrumental off this. A lot of the voice bleeds in. Let's go over to her. So it, I used the uh, the preview option, so I didn't get all the way over here, uh, but. Yeah, I don't know. It's a it's a bit of a mess. It looks like some of the drums and other things where there are no vocals got in here as well. Like, all that stuff. <laughs> That's definitely not singing. All right, let's check out the MP3 version. And I'm kind of curious to see if it's consistent with the MP3 and the wave as well. So here's the MP3 version of the processing. Shooting stars. Fly by in the sky. So a pretty similar result. Let's go ahead and flip the polarity on one. I'm gonna flip it on this one. The way shooting stars fly by. So there is a significant difference between the two. A ton is still coming through. So if you feed it a wave or an MP3, it's gonna have a big impact. The information is nowhere near similar where these are this makes me uh really quick let me check if we got we got waves out of the mp3 and waves out so the process i used for this one gives you wave files 
for everything, even if you feed it an MP3, while this one gives you uh, only MP3s. So kind of a curious thing. I think it's a pretty clear winner though. Lalal uh, totally destroyed, destroyed this service. And at, by extension, every other service that's using the, uh, I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, the Zimnaptik, those, those algorithms, they just don't stack up to whatever Lalal's doing. They've got a, a winner on their side. Uh, very, very nice way of splitting. And I should mention too that I've tried this with other tracks that I don't own the copyright to, so I don't want to use them in video. Uh, stuff like more pop center stuff. And you get spectacular results as well out of those. In many cases, much cleaner because the singer's a lot better and they don't have to be so dang crazy with the tuning as a result. Uh, but there's a quick look at it. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and check it out. Yeah, let me know what kind of results you get out of it and what you think of the algorithm down below. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.